Another cozy winter weekend at our house hack. Where the renovations never end. With a lot of the world kind of shut down right now with this rise and spikes of COVID cases, a lot of our friends and family are quarantining or home. And so we're really just taking advantage of this time home and not a lot of other responsibilities to really get this house finished. You guys have seen over the last few videos, uh, we've been doing odds and ends. We're really trying to wrap up at least the kitchen today or this weekend. We'll see. And then kitchen will be done. Will be done. Yeah. And then in a future episode, I'm gonna do a deep dive of how much this kitchen costs, what we spend and everything, what materials we used, um, so that when we do finish next door, we could do a direct cost comparison of a DIY kitchen renovation and a completely outsourced kitchen renovation. All done, all the spackling in the kitchen and it looks pretty good. I gotta wait for it to dry, but gonna jump to baseboard to try to finish this room off. And then I think that's, and then I think it's done until we get that upper cabinet, which is really frustrating, but you can't change it, right? Yeah. Who said it? Oh, Hal Elrod. Hal Elrod, that's right, yeah. 19 and 13 16 so write that down. You got it, I'm not ready. Dude, you can start painting this door. Yay. With all these walls being out of whack, uh, you guys are definitely gonna see it because I see it a lot. This is not like a perfect 45 here, so my miter's open. So this is a 45 and what I'll do is I'll adjust this cut. So what you can do is take this gap, the largest, at the largest point, take that and transfer it onto the back. So whatever that gap is, take it from there, bring it out, mark it, bring it down, you're gonna cut from nothing to that mark and I should close that miter up. So essentially this is the miter that I need to cut now to close up that gap. So there you go, so there is still a little opening, but that's what they make caulk for. <laughs> 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 well, but that's how you close up miter in case it's open, shut, whatever. I didn't know I was painting today, so clearly I have to change into paint clothes. I learned the wrong way to you know, you just got to have a set of clothing that you do DIY type stuff in, or otherwise every shirt and pair of yoga pants you'll own will turn into paint clothes because you'll just get paint on everything. So quick change and now we'll tackle this door. Remember when I had so much trouble trying to put this on? <laughs> I was like drunk. Oh, I don't want to renovate anymore. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Are you drunk? I think so. All right, so Kyle finished over here. Then he did baseboard and shoe over here. This whole laundry room is eventually gonna get completely redone. So these little pieces of shoe are just temporary until we figure out what we're doing over here. And now he's just going to do shoe and base cap over here. And then I think we're gonna call it for the night. It looks great. Damn, that is a huge difference. Oh yeah. Did mommy lock you down there, bud? Oh. <laughs> Were you scared? I think he was a little scared. For your bone? Ow. He's never been scared in his life, right bud? Never been scared, not once. <sighs> yeah. Who? tough guy. Oh, he just knocked that over. No. <laughs> That's it. Calling it for the night. Thank God. I know, but we got a lot done. Yeah. It looks so like clean in here now. Like you said before, like how little stuff like baseboard makes it you realize how disgusting it looked before. And we have a vent now. We didn't have that. We just had a giant hole. Which is funny because that's actually obviously, I don't know if you guys realize, but that's all in like this way, like upright, like it's supposed to be horizontal, but they don't make like eight by 10, like eight wide by 10 tall that I could find. Everything's rectangular. And because this is old, that used to just be a grate. And 
I, I, they, I don't know if that ever had a grate there, to be honest. And they're like 130 bucks to replace an iron grate, which we're not doing. So I'd just throw something like that on there. Sounds like right? a great idea. So if you guys actually have any ideas, because this is not gonna be the first time that we're gonna come across this with the iron grates, yeah. let me know. Let me know what you do. If you just, I this is like, me, at Little Pow, I put one in the bathroom on sideways like that too. I remember that. People pointed it out. Do what you gotta do sometimes. I knew it was upright. All I right, you guys was. can't have him anymore. He's mine, we're ending the video, at least for tonight. I'm gonna go sit on the couch. See you tomorrow. It's 6.30 in the morning. I thought there was a massive squirrel next door. There's sheep rockers. There's sheep rockers next door right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I've never been so happy to be woken up uh, this early. Yeah. Dude. I love. It's like, I know that people would be like, Shut up over there. I'm like, yeah. Go, go, get him, <laughs> go <boys. laughs> So I'm going to try to um, shut my eyes for another 20 minutes. We'll catch you there. The last couple of days, the sheet rockers have been here super early, finishing up, and I think they're done, and I'm so excited, because it looks so good in here. So right when you walk in, we have a coat closet. It originally was over there. We decided to move it over there so we could have more of an open feel. And then it goes right into the kitchen, you know, fridge, sink, stove will go over there. And then we'll probably do a similar, smaller version of the little dry bar over here. We won't do a mini fridge, but we'll do the cabinet and the countertop. And then this is probably my favorite thing that we're doing over here, and I really wanna do it on our side, is that this is the back porch, so we're just gonna do like a big closet over here for storage. And then this is gonna be a half bath. So we'll have a toilet, a sink, and then stackable washer dryer. And I'm so jealous, I want this in our unit. And then up front, this, place had two front doors. It had one here and one over here. So we closed this one in so that we could have a nice open living room and have a more functional space. And then let's go and check out upstairs. I just love sheetrock. It's such a visually satisfying process in the renovation. So we have the bathroom, the tub's in obviously. We're gonna tile this wall. It will be a vanity and a toilet. And then the smallest of the bedrooms, middle bedroom, and the front bedroom. It's a nice big closet. And then upstairs. So our side and this side are not completely identical. And one of the biggest differences is this third floor. Ours, you walk up, and there's a storage area and two bedrooms. Here is kind of this like open living area. And then back here is the bedroom. I like having this open area. So it's technically a four bedroom instead of a five bedroom. So that's really it with the sheetrock update. I know Kyle just ordered the baseboard and trim and they're designing the kitchen and then I believe next week they start painting. So like, obviously I have to, they have to tape and spackle, but once that's finished, they're gonna start painting and this place is rocking and rolling. And I love it. All right, back to the warmth because it is freezing. Hi, I heard you crying over there, your sad boy. I just got back from Philly where I had to go pick up that new refrigerator upper. Dual purpose trip because I also put the order in for next door. And uh, we use Washington Brothers Imports for these cabinets. And I did go get a second quote for next door. So when we do that comparison, apples to apples, this side to next door, we're gonna be able to see like where we were able to cost save maybe by shopping around a couple 
different Philly, like Washington Street area kitchen cabinet um, company. So uh, right now I'm back with that refrigerator upper and we're gonna start putting this up. What you missed on was that I just set that ledger. Essentially this upper is 18 inches tall. So I just took my measurement down to eight, 18 inches, marked it, level line, and put that ledger board up so I can just set that upper uh, up and makes it a lot easier to screw. First off, we're gonna take these doors off because it's just a lot easier to work with. It's lighter, you don't have them swinging open when you're trying to move stuff. You saw us clamp this top and I got the cabinet screwed into this side panel. This side panel had a groove in it that set right nicely onto there. Uh, basically, I just threw some glue on there and then hit it on the bottom. I just hit two spots down low uh, with the pin nailer. So you're not gonna see it. Um, and what's nice is it gives us, I actually had to pack this out a little bit, this panel because there is a little lip here. It's about maybe, maybe 3 16 of an inch um, to allow this cabinet to open. And man, that is like an eighth inch the whole way. So that's, that's a nice space. Um, this we'll just have to silicone with some white silicone, but not a problem. We got that up. We're gonna start getting this right side in now. All right, we are on the last spacer and it's, sitting really well it's nice and tight up there along the wall and uh, I'll press this tight and then kind of all I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna glue and tack a little pine nailer there um, and I'll put some glue in, in between press this up against it and uh, let that glue set and I'll do the same thing on the floor um, just so it's got some some packing behind it we are well on our way All right, that spacer is up and it's got a pretty nice tight fit um, up along the wall. The wall does bow in a little bit right here in the middle, but I will just run some caulk down there as we do and it really won't be an issue. So let me get that backer. Just gonna cut a little piece of pine, glue it, cut a little piece of pine, glue it, and we will be set. I'll put those doors back on. Now the plan was to only get this uh, refrigerator cabinet and paneling up, but Lauren's still upstairs and I think I could bang this crown molding out and get this baseboard along the floor tucked up real nice to that, uh, that side spacer before she gets down here. All right guys, I got this done. I thought I was recording and I had it set up, like showing you guys what I was doing and it wasn't recording. Fail. I didn't do anything special. I just put the crown molding up like I showed you in that previous episode um, where we did this side. I did the same exact way, just on a smaller area. Slid the fridge back in and the fridge fits freaking perfect in here. I mean, I'm talking, we have a nice, Gap, a little bit of gapping. It's a little bit tight here in the center and it's it's pretty nice and tight there. So this is all really, really looking good. So that is gonna be it. I am loving how this kitchen is coming out because over the next few days, we're gonna finish all the little details and then in the next episode, we're gonna do a full kitchen cost breakdown what materials we use how much money we spent and all the details which we know that you guys love so much and if you aren't subscribed i suggest that you do go hit that subscribe button right now because we have some super exciting news that we're going to share with you in a future episode, episode. that's going to be coming up very quickly we'll so. wait just subscribe but we got some time go check it out okay see you guys next week